Hi everyone, I'm going to talk about eye signs in toxic goiter. Now these eye signs have a lot of names to it and that's why remembering the names with the signs becomes very hard. And I'm going to show talk about some uh, few common eye signs and I'll tell you how I remember them and hopefully it'll help you. So let's get started. The first sign I'm going to talk about is the Stellwag sign and um, well it is the absence of normal blinking so your eyelids um, don't move or blink as much as they should and this gives it typically a staring look of the patient so what I think of is um, a dog's tail is wagging and wagging is actually constant movement and if the tail is not moving it's called being still right so that's still wag sign which is absence of movement of the tail or in our case eyelids the second um, sign I'm going to talk about is the Joffro sign and this is when um, you ask the patient to look up and there is absence of wrinkling of the forehead and those wrinkles are also known as frowning so when the patient looks up there is no frowning and you know what if there is no frowning means that you're happy right so if you cut off the frow in the frown you become joy or happy so uh, that's how I remember it's kind of weird but uh, it helps me remember so without the frowning you become happy or joy so joy for us it's in one word the third sign is the Mobius sign and it is the lack of conversion of the eyeball due to lymphocytic infiltration of the muscles of the eyeball um, specifically the inferior oblique and the rectus muscles so uh, Mobius has an M M for mobility of the muscles causes a uh, lack of conversions and that's how I remember uh, the other sign is the Navziger sign and this is when uh, you ask the patient to extend their neck suppose here's a patient sitting down okay this is a very bad uh, drawing but um, uh, this is the normal position of the neck and you ask them to extend the neck if they look behind you can see the eyeballs protruding if you're if you're observing from behind so um, this is known as a uh, navziger sign i think of the neck being a zigzag because it makes a zigzag don't you think uh, and that's how i remember the name with it so um when the patient is in the sitting position and the neck is extended the protruded eyeballs can be visualized when um, being observed from behind and that is Navziger's sign one graphy sign is the inability of the um, upper eyelid to keep in place with the eyeball when it looks downwards if you ask the patient to look down the the upper eyelid takes a lot of time to follow and this is known as the leg lag sign and this is because of um, the involuntary contraction of the Muller's muscle or the levator palpebris superior, superioris muscle and yeah these are thyroid eye signs uh, I'll do a quick revision still wag for not keeping a still doggy tail which gives the absence of normal blinking which is um, the staring look still wax sign is the first sign to appear in um, mild cases second is joy froze sign in which um, there is no frowning so that makes you uh, happy or joy uh, mobile sign for mobility of the muscles the absence of um, conversions of the eyeball this typically gives a uh, diplopia in the patient and this is actually the first sign of ophthalmoplasia in um, the patient so it's very important that you remember the sign and the Nazziger sign in which you give a zigzag to the neck and uh, you can see the protruding eyeballs from behind and the other important signs are the lid retraction the visible lower sclera and the von Graffi sign which is the lid lag sign i hope that was helpful and i hope you had fun learning with me and see you next time stay awesome